creative block is when you're sitting down to write a song and nothing is coming out no matter what you're doing. And this can be really frustrating. I'm going to share with you five ways you can overcome creative block through my own research and personal experiences. And this applies to everyone, not necessarily musicians, but for us musicians out there, this is really gonna help. So number one, is limit yourself. Now I know that sounds really counterintuitive, like why would I limit myself, but think about it. In today's day and age with all this technology, we've hundreds if not thousands of instruments and samples you can pick from, and it gets really overwhelming to the point that it's even hard to start a song, like, like I need to pick the best synthesizer or the best drums or what have you. Instead of thinking what you should add in a song, consider what you should leave out that you should not have in there. For example, try making a pop or a hip hop song without using any drums. Now this will be limiting, but it'll make you get creative. Or maybe if you make ambient music, don't use any synthesizers or pads, that's gonna make you get creative. Not only will you have to think outside of the box, but it'll make the song a little bit more interesting. So in general, limiting your choices is pretty much gonna help you start the project and not have a bunch of hesitations while doing that. Number two is stay healthy but disciplined. Your physical and mental health are of utmost importance in anything really, but especially when it comes to being creative. Exercise regularly, take breaks from technology, you know, your computer, your phone, etc. This will help you stay focused, but just make sure you're staying disciplined through all this and patient because this stuff can take a while and that's okay. Also make sure you're not staying isolated in your little workroom all day every day. Your brain is gonna get stale, creativity's not gonna flow, it's just not good to stay isolated. We're not meant to do that as humans. Number three is start analog and then go digital. You know, computers and technology are really great for compiling ideas, putting things together, and publishing them. They're not so great for starting and creating ideas. Have you ever been using your computer and you're trying to write either a paper or a song and it's just not coming out no matter what you do? There are a lot of distractions, there's the internet, there are buttons, it's just difficult. Plus on top of that, the main part of your body that's involved is just your brain. You're not getting your blood flowing, you're not getting your whole body Body involved, it's just your brain, that's gonna get stale quick. So to avoid this, get a notebook, write down your thoughts, put your phone on do not disturb, or even better, in a totally different room, you're not gonna be distracted and you can actually make the things that you want to make without any distractions and influences. Number four, make templates in your digital audio workstation. This is an amazing way to save hours. Instead of reinventing the wheel every time, make different templates for different songs you want to make. You could have a template from when you make hip hop beats, pop songs, orchestral, whatever it is that you make, make them organized, make them look visually appealing if you have that option, just to optimize your workflow. Again, I have done this and this saves hours. Last but certainly not least is tip number five, Take 20 minutes or 30 to go through all your sounds and samples, organize them the way you want. Make a folder, put samples you like in there. If you have a plugin where you can favorite presets or samples, do that. You can even get a notebook and start writing down the names of presets that you really like. But 20 or 30 minutes spent doing this is gonna save you hours from selecting sounds every time you wanna make a song. And sometimes, let's be honest, that can kinda ruin the creative process. If not ruin it, it can slow it down. You can avoid hours of wasted time going through sounds and samples every time. It's okay to use the same samples for different songs. That's what makes your sound unique, the fact that you use sounds you like. Well, thank you so much for watching and listening. I really hope these tips were useful to you. If they were, I ask that you consider subscribing to get more tips like this in the future. Thank you and take care.